How is it going everybody? Adin here once again and today we're jumping back into best of three historic. So something a little bit different, something which we usually use to grind to that mythic ladder. So Slivers has made a resurgence since the historic horizons has hit MTG Arena and I must admit I'm not fully in on it. I think the deck's really powerful when it hits the ground, hits the battlefield running. However, if we get into that long game, I do not think we can pull out some wins. But we're going to try today nevertheless. So before we jump into that deck tape, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and catch me on Twitch.tv five days a week on the link down below. Let's check out what cards go in this deck. Okay, everybody, so here we have it. The aim of the game is to get as many different combinations of your slivers down as possible. Each sliver is a lord, and by that what I mean is that it has a special ability and it gives that ability to all the other slivers that you are controlling. We have things in the early slots such as first strikers, we have vigilance, tap to gain mana. This card is exceptional in getting enough ramp to get enough creature onto the battlefield. One of the key lords is the predatory sliver which gives all my creatures, uh, sliver creatures plus one plus one and also for the most impactful finishers the cloud shredder sliver which gives all of the creatures all the sliver creatures you control flying and haste we've also got metallic mimics to make sure that your creatures are coming in a slightly larger than they otherwise would be belligerent sliver gives everything menace and um saving the two best until last the spiteful sliver when it when damage is dealt to that sliver it deals that much damage to a target player so it can oftentimes make it so the opponents can't attack and also the bone scythe sliver creatures you control have double strike works exceptionally well with the flying haste and the menace sometimes you're just hitting your opponents and they can't even block you we also have a realm walker and a herald's horn uh, the latter to make our spells cheaper the former so we go through our deck slightly faster and finally four copies of collector company because we know it's important to get all of the creatures onto the battlefield as soon as possible in the sideboard it's a little bit hit and miss at the minute perhaps it needs a little bit of tweaking two copies of authority of the consoles two copies of rest in peace because we know how important that graveyard is in the new format two copies of mass vandal this is um uh, artifact and enchantment removal but also this does count as a sliver so it's a little bit kind of give and take uh two magma sprays burning hands to lava coils if you want to be dealing with those creatures exiling those creatures shape of sanctuary if there's any sort of burn that's coming towards your creatures obviously they want to keep us off as many of these slivers as possible and finally one stone rain and also one vivian just in case we need those blockers in the air so the sideboard could do with a little bit of work but i'm very interested in running this out and seeing how we go we've also got gigantha as our companion because why not it's an extra creature an extra big body that we might be calling upon so wish us luck as we jump into those games and leave a comment down below to let me know if you've tried this list something similar or which combinations i should be looking for if i'm tweaking it in the future wish us luck game one champ space space kind both of us in diamonds so it's gonna be a fair match what are they on the opponent is choosing which player to play first i mean I think they've chosen themselves beautiful all right so what do we have here two drops three drops all seems good let's keep beautiful right so warlock class i've got no idea what the new meta is looking like by the way so please don't <laughs> don't mind me making a few uh mistakes or the deck not being kind of uh fully tuned at the minute we're still in that kind of work in progress um uh, creatures have vigilance now uh, this could be a version of the kind of never-ending sack list if, if, if they play some white mana uh concealed courtyard or godless shrine or something okay mm -mm, when it becomes so woe shrine yeah this all this all looks very much like it's um a part of that list realm walker seems great uh slivers i'm gonna get this down for now sliver beautiful ah no so mm -mm -mm. i'm gonna i am actually just gonna attack in with this try and get their woe strider out of their hand or out, out off the battlefield obviously this collector company is is welcome oh okay midnight reaper i see i thought this was the list that we kind of uploaded uh yesterday or the day before the uh the, the the best of one list but apparently it's not um it might be worth me here actually going for the for the 
predatory sliver or we could try and go through our deck a little bit more with this okay we've got a second one coming wow um so everything has tap which is interesting i could play this in or i could just play like uh this one hmm i kind of like this Slivers you can uh, control have. Whenever this is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to a target player or planeswalker. Beautiful. So hopefully next time we've got enough to tap for maybe, maybe collector company, perhaps. Uh, a push double collector company. We'll see what we draw. The haste flyer would be absolutely great. The haste flyers mean that all of our creatures, you know, have that ability. Uh, look at the top three cards while I put one of them into your hand. So we don't really want this warlock class to go to the next, uh, the next level, but we'll see. Prosperous and keeper. So we might be able to keep our opponent at bay for, for another turn. The problem is we don't have any life gain of any sort. So that's a, that's an issue. Okay, we have another click to come off the top. Ha. Huh. Right, I'm going to fire this one off. I'm going to fire this one off. Okay, Metallic Mimic and a Realm Walker. I'm going to go Metallic Mimic and this. Get ourselves a, the Sliver Manor in. Love that. And the question is here. Do I, do I hit another... It's actually quite interesting. Let's go for another sliver here. Beautiful. Everything's buffed up. We just kind of throw in next turn, I think. This has got, you know, this has got vigilance, so I don't mind hitting in with this. The counters are great. We're going to play a land. We're going to hit another collector company off the top. Hopefully get everything flying and, you know, just, just win flying, double strike, all those good things. Unless our opponent has brought us a citadel. Unless our opponent has Bonus of Citadel, which is um, uh, excellent. Very good with the Innkeeper here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Can they just activate this? So what they're doing here is they're using the Woe Strider to have a look what's on top of their deck. We might be fortunate enough to kind of finish a... Uh, oh, this is going to get him so much land, uh, so much uh, health. Did I have to do something else there to, to try and force a win? I'm not entirely sure. They hit with the Blood Artist... Gain themselves some more life. One to the bottom. So they are they're trying to go deep in their deck. They might have to sacrifice the Lazatech Reaper here. No. They get the Skullport Merchant in, which gains them two life, loses them three. Collector Company off the top. Loses them four life, gains them um, uh, another four. Okay. Okay, that pings me as well. They're gaining more life. Love that. Whenever, what is this? Whenever they gain life, we deal one damage to us. This is a very synergistic deck. I'd actually like to play it. Maybe best of one. This would be excellent. Go on up. Oh, pass. You know you want to. I'll pose up to 14. 39 cards in the library. Sacrifice 10. Deals 10 damage to us. Blood Artist. G. G's. Oppo. We're going to go to the next game. I didn't realize I didn't even count that. Hmm. They also hit us with the Dina there as well. Very, very fiery deck. Um. So what do we what do we care about here? The authority helps us out, gains us some life. Master Vandal will get rid of their... Hmm. Master Vandal will get rid of their bolus of Citadel, but by the time it's on the battlefield, it's a little bit too late, right? Uh, we could get rid of their Warlock class, I guess, with it, though. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. Maybe a couple of Magma Sprays instead might be helpful. Maybe just a couple of Magma Sprays. And just help that we can kind of like push through um, that that little bit of damage there. Uh, Realm Walkers is quite nice against them. I'm going to get rid of one of these double strikers. And you know what? Just uh, We were so close to winning that game. I think, I think we just push again. I think we just push again. Game two of the match against Champ Kind. Is that like Mankind? I don't know. Play first. Uh, a great start to us. We have a little bit of removal there as well, which is fantastic. Um, that's good. We weren't going to play that against the Blood Artist or something similar, right? Play this in tapped and we pass. So we've got a, a two drop and a three drop, which seems good. And we have a Coco. Love to see that. Let's get the... Uh, so this, this sliver gives everything Vigilance. This gives everything Menace. So as you can see, like everything's working kind of like uh, in, in synchronization with, with, with one another, which is exactly what we want to see. Um, so what we're going to do is here, we're going to build out the creatures. Um, and then we're going to give everything flying in haste just to attack in at the end. Seems great. I mean, there is a world where I even... Okay, so is that Coco for our opponent? No, they're not. Will they play Coco? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to attack him with, with these for now. 
See what Oppo does. Okay. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's end the turn. They have a Coco there, sure. Okay, what are they going to choose? What are they going to choose? We still got rounds. Kind of have to kill that, right? Kind of have to kill this, I think. What I should have done there, actually. What I should have done. That, that was a mistake there, chat. I should have played this uh, Cloud Shredder down. I think. I think I should have played the Cloud Shredder pre-combat. Attacked him for six. Because they've got Vigilance, right? Yeah, I think I should have done that. Never mind. Never mind. Pass this back to me. Right. Let's fire this out. Collector company. Oppo's probably going to have a second collector company in hand. Um, ugh. This and this. We're going to give... Everything kind of comes in with... With, you know, the... Uh, the plus one, plus one. Duh, 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 duh. Into battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter. Let's attack him with these. Coco, there we go. Kind of predicted the second one. But I mean, okay, Oppo's checking things. We've got a Realm Walker next turn. We can do Realm Walker and the Cloud Shredder, which is nice. Losing the Menace creature is problematic, but you are going to kill two of your opponent's creatures. Oppo could whiff here as well, which is a, definitely a probability. Uh, they don't. Oh, we kill the Mimic with, with that. That's, uh, yeah, that's good. Ah, sure. Sure. Right. Are you going to double block? You don't. You don't double block. Sure. Of course you don't. So next turn, we're going to go in for three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. Ha. Huh. Sure. Dina. Nice. Uh, yeah, pings, pings, pings. We could actually lose here. Okay, let's play this in first. Hmm. On the top land? There. Yuck. This enters. Everything has haste. Love to see it. Haste and, haste and flying, by the way. Haste, Flying, Vigilance, Menace. All these creatures seems good. Can I do anything more with this? Can't, can I? Okay, so it's going to be a close one. Like I say, one of the, one of the da dangers with this list is that we don't have any life gain. We don't have any life gain at all. So what that means is that uh, if our opponent does kind of hit hard like this, Second Blood Artist is fantastic, and that could be the win for them, right? Let's have a look. Um, so they do two. They do two damage. In fact, in fact, four damage. Yeah, no. They, 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 with the two blood artists and the Dina, whenever you gain a life, each opponent loses one life. GG's. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're going to go two nil down. I mean, surely Oppo is going to have, surely Oppo knows that they've, they've uh, won this, right? You've got two Blood Artists. Nadina, just sack everything, Oppo. You've got this. You've got this. Are you roping me? I hope you're not roping me. That's very rude if you are. Go on, Oppo. You're... What are you counting? You need to sack... Th Plum the figure, baby. Oh, you're doing it in style. I see. Sure. We'll, 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 let, we'll let them do it. We'll let them do it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Plus their Dina activations whenever they gain life. Decent deck. Decent deck. We'll have to play it. GG, Zoppo. Thank you for the game. Game two. Dermuk. Beautiful. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So... Can we get our slivers to fire in game two?
can we get our opponent to choose who's going first in game two? Okay. This seems fine. One drop, two drop, three drop, four. Uh, beautiful. Let's go. Um, okay, Black Mana comes in. Witch's Oven. So maybe some sort of Jund list. I'm not entirely sure what uh, what our opponent's got going on in the minute. So we want this for... I think we want this for white, right? I think it makes sense to play this for white. Priest of Forgotten Gods is excellent. They're going to miss their triggers, apparently. Uh, right, let's get... Let's get the Cloud Shredder in. And I think it's worth getting some, some attacks in early doors here. Um, typically, what your opponent's going to do is hit a... a Woe Strider, I'm assuming. Sack it straight away. We'll be getting rid of our um, striking uh, sliver. Oh, no, they didn't. Interesting. Get, get one damage in, now. Hmm, so do I go for creatures with menace? Or do I go for the plus one, plus one? It's an interesting one. I'm going to go for the menace creature, I think. Get four damage in here. Pass back to our opponent. Four damage, menace flying. Seems great. First strike as well. Okay, so... If I was to play this down, that means that we go in for 12 damage next turn. Corvold straight away. Corvold straight away there, sacking all of those creatures? Wow. Um, I mean... Hmm. I think I actually like to... Nah, it's, it's got to be this, right? It's got to be this with a menace. Let's go. Creatures have double strike. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Down to two. Let's go. Let's go. Trail of crumbs? Fine. Is Oppo going to eat this? I mean, they can't really afford to eat it, right? They need to be playing into things here. Five. They sack one thing. It's probably going to be a land that they have to sack because they need to... No. They're just, they're just going straight in. Uh, probably looking for some sort of removal spell. Maybe like a board wrap of some sort. I mean, if they do board wrappers, we're going to be in a not ideal position in all honesty. Six damage obtained. Okay. Scoop. Nice. What a fiery one, two, three, four drop we had there. Game two. Game two is going to be interesting. Um, I kind of need maybe like a burning hand straight off the straight off the deck to kill our opponent. What do we think? Mast Vandal could be good, uh, but like I don't expect my creatures to die. Is the thing like if we if we play this correctly, we don't expect our creatures to die to go into the long game. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe take out one mimic and one sentinel sliver. We've got enough room for for one more unit. I don't know if to go for a rest in peace or not. They're gonna have lots of recursion, aren't they? Maybe two rest in peace and take out one striking sliver. Let's try. Let's try this. Maybe maybe one realm walk and one mass vandal just in case. I mean, we might be going a little bit too defensive here. There is a there is a slight risk that you do go too defensive. You're not getting all of your uh, land drops. You're not getting all your units down in that sequence that we had in game one. Um, but let's see if we can pull off a win here. It would be fantastic to see. We, we start with a rest in peace and a mana weft uh, sliver. Okay. So I'm more than happy. So this has got to come down for white mana, hasn't it? I'm more than happy playing this down tapped and passing to our opponent. I think if we play the rest in peace, does Oppo just scoop? Wait, they... Okay. I think what we need to do is put some pressure on our opponent. They could have a fatal push here, which would... I mean, it's not ideal. Not ideal, but Oppo kept a, like a one, one land hand. Interesting. Right. Let's get this down. I think let's go for a, uh, a Realm Walker here because next turn we can double spell. Okay. Keeping those lands coming. Love to see it. Oppo, oh, Oppo. I'm sorry to see this, my friend. Especially because I want to put a good show on for the old, uh, for the old YouTubes. Um, I mean... Sure. Sure. Seems good. We're gonna get a good attack in there. We could probably play this off the top. But I think I think getting this down, you know, just just oh up. Oh, I'm sorry. GG's. They're gonna be furious. They might have another fatal push in hand, in which case they'll tick kill this predatory uh, sliver. I think. Oh wait, they did have a a red mana. Croxer, priest of forgotten gods. Sure. 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 
Uh, we're going to go for a, a white mana here. I'm going to play down this belligerent sliver. Um, oh, why would it tap me so poorly? Huh. Why would it tap me so poorly? That's not ideal, is it? That's not ideal at all. Okay, I mean, let's get the rest in peace in. Seems, seems good enough. Damn. What a shame. Tack in here. Take our way down to 12. So that's a lesson in terms of tapping. So even though the game has turned out to be not as exciting as we wanted to, although we still haven't won yet. We still haven't won. Which is vengeance, you see? Does that need a shapeshifter? It does. Damn. Let's go. See, the, the game is still... The game is still among us. Right, Sliver. Realm Walker. Sliver again. Love to see it. Off the top, nothing. We're going to get the Giganfer into hand and then pass. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we should have got that extra damage in. A potential removal against this Realm Walker. Oh, which is Vengeance. Great card for them. Mayhem Devil. Okay, this is problematic. Wait, can I not play this? Huh. Okay. That actually surprised me, that. Uh, let's say no attacks. Hmm, okay. I might be able to double spell next turn. Claim the firstborn. Wow, Oppo is just going absolutely ham here. Kills my Gigantha, sacks their Mayhem Devil. So they're going to be doing, uh, they're going to be doing kind of four damage to me. Yeah, I mean, fair play, Oppo. Uh, it shows the resilience of their deck. Four mana here. Did they mean to tap this? I don't know. what. Why did they tap this? Did I miss something? Shocked that in. Second Priest. What did they play? Oh, it was the claim the first one, wasn't it? Completely bypassed me that. Um, okay, we are in trouble. We might even have to give this to our opponent because we're just, we're basically at this stage, we're just playing creatures down. Um, waiting for our opponent just to, just to sack them. And I don't think we've got kind of enough here um, to kind of keep me into it. Wasn't able to keep that up. So, only if you control a sliver. So we do. We do. So we can activate the sliver hide. Mayhem Devil is just too good. Too good. Claim the firstborn. GG's, Oppo. GG's. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it them because we can't get back in the game. Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay. So maybe we do need a little bit more defensiveness. Let's get the magma sprays in. Mm-mm and uh, potentially a lava coil or two even maybe a couple of lava coils take out one of the resting pieces take out the striking maybe we go down one on the collector company because we've got that kind of um extra extra creatures on the battlefield and i think mass vandal maybe is is not worthwhile especially if we're kind of having the rest in peace it doesn't the, the two don't synergize as well as they perhaps should do so can we beat dermic in game two play first uh, sure. I think I keep this, right? Do I keep this? Is not fast enough. Maybe it isn't. We'll see. Uh, what's up? I got as a one drop. Probably nothing of too much interest. I'd rather play this in, play the forest, get the mimic down. Beautiful. Right. So we're gonna get the mimic down. Pick sliver. And then we're kind of going to go for the, the horn. Oppo might have a fatal push for this to try and slow me down a little bit like they have done in games. Uh, they had it in game two. They didn't have it in game one, did they? Nice. So they attack this. Uh, deal two damage. Sack it to the Phyrexian Tower and play a Priest of Forgotten Gods. They didn't. They didn't. Okay, nice. All right, let's play this in. Uh, Sliver. So this helps us ramp through our deck in terms of grabbing creatures. It also manages to leave us up a uh, the magma spray. Take action, reveal that. Obviously, I love that. And the cocoa as well, nice. Um, I haven't got anything with hasty. I think I just pass. I think I just pass. Keep up the collective company. Seems good enough, right? Seems good enough. Mayhem Devil. Sure. Land, pass. Collective company, end of turn. Hopefully, we can get a couple of things. Nice. That feels good. That feels good. Right. Uh, let's grab this. Beautiful. And, ooh, can we do lots of things here? I think we can, right? This buffs everything. 
This also buffs everything. And we've got this as well. I mean, this is just great. Shame we didn't have anything with double strike, but we'll take it. Oppo down to three. And now, because of this spiteful sliver, whenever this creature is dealt damage... Wow, really? Stop it. Again, how do they keep... How do they keep doing that? How do they know? Maybe I'm overextending, but... I mean, we did get quite a lot down. Maybe I should have waited for this sliver. Okay, let's let's try and get another haste. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely draw this. That's fine. Like, I think this is just essential. They can obviously hit the Frexian Tower, but, like, we get rid of the Mayhem Devil. They ping us for one. Ping us for one. We get to keep a Magnum Throne in case they have a Priest of Forgotten Gods. Um, but this is very much looking like the Bane for us at the minute. And not the good Bane either. The problematic Bane. Okay, land comes in tap. No Corvold? Sure, I was expecting a Corvold. We'll take this. We'll take this. And okay. Okay, okay, okay. So Realm Walker, I like. Let's go for Sliver. Let's have this one in. Hold up the Magma Spray again. And we pass. Okay, potential lethal next turn because we've got these uh, Bone Scythes. Damn. Just just keep going. That's fine, Oppo. That's fine. Beautiful. Right. Sliver, Sliver, Sliver. Oppo is just saying sliver at me over and over again. Um, this this smells like a cocoa. If it smells like a cocoa and looks like a cocoa, it probably will be a cocoa. We'll play this. Oh wait, actually no, that was uh, that was. I don't think it was a cocoa there. Actually, it happened too quickly, didn't it? Hmm. Finding of the old gods. Sure. Sure, Oppo, you've got that. Okay. This works really well with Mayhem Devil for one turn. Witch's oven. Nice. Have you got a cat? You don't have a cat. We'll take action. We'll get that. Anything more? Land. I don't think... I don't think they'll have two. <laughs> I need enough to be able to attack in next turn. Like, have they, have they got another Witch's Vengeance? Like, three in a row? Or, or another Binding of the Old Gods? Finding of the old gods kills uh, this would be problematic for us, I guess. Kill the goose. Nice. They get to make some food. So they're still in the game. Land. Oh, that shows quite a lot there. That shows quite a lot. They're going to gain some life. We're going to hit them with the goose. This could be uh, with a magma. So we're going to hit them with the goose. What? This could be our first win here. They stack this to the witches oven and make another little bit of life for themselves. So that's going to be six, nine. We take them down to one. Oppo, uh, you were still in it, my friend. You were still in it. But we'll, we'll take that win. We'll take that win. Okay, so game three. Blue Jay, one, three, four. All looks good here, actually. So it's a little bit slow, but we do have the mana weft sliver. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep. I like this. Mon Ooh. Mono red goblins? So has goblins got more tech? When it's about field, uh, choose a creature card in your hand, it gains haste. So one of their cards has haste. Interesting. We're going to see that next turn, I assume. Play the stomping grounds down now. Then we go sliver hive into the mana weft sliver. Nice. Phoenix him. Whenever you cast a spell, it's in the graveyard or something. Sure. Not gonna waste time reading it now. Um okay, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. So we have three mana next turn. Goblin Chain Weller, we have two mana next turn. Hmm. Back up to three mana. Spiteful? I I like the spiteful. I think it's nice. I mean Oppo could just have removal and then GG's, right? Take five here? Can't really do much other than that. Uh, the first strike is problematic for us. The first strike is problematic. Some sort of discharge they've got. And then and more discharge? Wow, okay. I mean, a static discharge. Dear Lord. Uh, okay. I mean... Shaper Sanctuary, Lava Coil. Take out a First Striker, a Mimic, and... 
one Realm Walker? I don't think I should ever be getting rid of that, to be honest. Maybe a couple of Magma Sprays and get, take out a Collector Company and maybe one of the uh, Vigilance creatures. I think so. I mean, there was the Authority, but Authority wouldn't have done anything last time. They only played three creatures. Dear Lord. Uh, play first. Mm -mm. We do have this Haste, which I like. Okay. Sliver Hive comes in. We'll play the other pathway for White Manor, I think. Oppo could have some sort of land destruction, but... So Scar Mage is great against us. Absolutely fantastic. Um, right, we're going to get this in. Attack him. Remember that the um, the Goblin Chain Whirler um, puts minus one, minus one counters on with this. Non-combat damage. Okay, Den of the Bugbear. Pass. Come on, we need back-to-back -back lands here. Okay, we can only play this. Okay. No burn then from our opponent. That's good to see. This is pumping everything. It's helping us along. Out of Goblin Chain Whirler range. I mean, they still play it in, obviously, but... Uh, could do with... Um, could do with lands off the top, for sure. Come on, Oppo. What are we thinking here? Do you have burn? Do you have chain whirler? Looks like they're killing this predatory. Okay. Tags in. Sure. Second one. That's not the end of the world. I'll put it down to 11. We're making this extremely hard for ourselves. We're not so resilient when we don't have mana, unless we have one of those mana weft slivers. The mana weft slivers are obviously tapping uh, all your creatures for mana. Goblin chain whirler. So we did get around it. GG's. I mean, I can't... What am I supposed to do here? No mana, no help. Mm -mm -mm. Watch the defiance. Um, obviously, down ticks on the uh, predatory sliver. Start screaming? Right, down ticks on the track. predatory sliver and then kills both in doing so. Love to see, see that. Ya. Five damage in. And if we don't draw a land, we just scoop because GG's. We do draw a land. But we still scoop, right? We still scoop, I think. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. These, these three four drops in our hand are just disgusting. So I've, I've kept this in just on the off chance that we can get the... Uh... Oh, actually. No, this deals two damage. And then they can actually hit the den of the bugbear. So that's four... Five, six, seven, eight. GG's. Oppo's missing lethal. We're, we're, we're losing, and our opponent's missing lethal. I just, I just can't. I just can't. Right, sliver. And we pass. We don't have any life gain here, remember? Come on, Oppo. Shock to face here. Run up and ruins. I don't think we've got anything of, of help. Nah, GG's. GG's, Oppo. Hmm. 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 Okay, so final game. Jan Mora. Oppo goes first. Um, this, I mean, this is theoretically great, right? Keep. What are, they, what are we up against here? White mana. Play this in tapped. Uh, so we go for the this sliver first in the hope of getting out the uh, the mimic and this sliver. Okay. So we play this down. We go for this sliver. We play in the mana weft sliver. Next turn we can go for play this in as white, I guess. Uh, we go for this and this. Feels good. Aspirant, nice, lovely to see. They're gonna put two counters on things. Wow, wow, wow. Pro attacks in for four, nice. Right now, can we can we keep up with things here? So let's go for this mimic. A uh, sliver, and we go for this one. This actually allows us to play. Uh, Wait, 
Oh, no, we needed the haste, didn't we, to... Uh, bah, bah, bah. That's an interesting one. That's interesting. Do we... Are we... I mean, obviously, we'll play around Manative in the future. I don't think we'll play around Manative there, though, right? Don't think we'll play around Manative there. Whenever another human enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 count on the lieutenant. Sure. Uh, GG's, though, here. GG's. I mean, never wants to kind of um, sell ourselves short, but I think in this situation, we're not in, we're not in good shape, are we? We're not in too good shape, Sliver. Uh, okay, no blocks. No blocks. I need a Cocoa off the top. We don't have any removal in the main deck, so we do need to move to the sideboard. Benelish Marshall. Now, there's a card I haven't seen in years. Wow. Uh, two counts on these. Oppo does eight as we're blocking here. GG's Oppo. Okay. Lava Coils look great. Magma Sprays look better. Um, I think that's all we kind of do there. Take out one of these Strikings. Take out the, this Sliver, a 4-drop, and the Realm Walker. I think in this case, we can keep 4 Collected Companies. I mean, we're against a Creature deck, so it's not it's not beyond the Realm that we're going to be kind of uh, blocking at instant speed with, with the uh, Collected Company. Okay. Play first. Hmm... I mean, we've got a collector company in hand. We've got this. We're going first. We can draw into maybe some white mana. I'm, and any other mana gets us this Herald's Horn, right? So I think we keep this. Okay. We don't have to shock ourselves in. We have our third mana for the Horn. Love that. Mana Tithe here for one. Eh, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind getting mana Tithe with that. As long as we're getting the Horn down and the collector company. We're, the, the, the problem with our deck is that... Damn, this Esper Sentinel is great. Have you ever thought that we might be too slow? Okay, I'm going to play this in. It gets around the, having the Esper Sentinel get um, uh, drawing a card, which feels good. Beautiful. Right, so next thing we can go collect a company. Lieutenant gets in there. They put a counter on each human you control when this enters. That's just... It's a ridiculous two-drop. Like, it's so, so strong. So strong. Uh, I land off the top. Okay, let's shock it in. And we just pass. Keep up Collector Company and, uh, and, and cross our fingers. I mean, there is a world, actually, where we should probably have played it... I mean, if they're holding up, if they're holding up a mana tithe, okay, they're not holding up a mana tithe. I was gonna say there is a world where I pay the, I pay the, I pay the tax for the uh, Esper Sentinel, and then they hit me with a mana tithe, which would be disastrous. It's two though. No, it was two anyway. I should have, um, I should have just played it last turn. Damn. Okay. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting ahead of things here, am I? Oh, I can't actually pay it though. Huh. Oh, wait, what? Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell during each turn, draw a card on a sipping. What? I need to read that a little bit better. Um, right, so... I could play this in. Could play this in. They've got two mana here. Um, do they get just activations with this anyway, though? I think they do, right? White mana. This. Pay this. Play this, rather. They scoop. Uh, we'd have done 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 damage. What were they down to? 20? Okay, we'll take that. I didn't think... I didn't think Oppo was too far off there, were they? Hmm, interesting. Okay, game three. Let's try and let's try and end the video on uh, with, 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 a, with a smile on our face. Four mana, a one drop, and uh, two two drops seems great for me. Esper Sentinel straight down there. Our opponent just doesn't. Our opponent just doesn't care. 
You know, they're, they're, they're going to hit everything. So, so why bother? Why bother crying about it? You know. Um, I like the mimic. I think. Okay. I mean, sure. Like, I get rid of a uh, I get rid of a bodyguard. You know, and like that two drops not that problematic for me. You know. Uh, right, so we're gonna get this down as a red. Play this. Mana type here? Wait, is mana type non creature spell or is it creature spell? I've got no idea. I literally, it gets played against me so really that. Portable hole. So Oppo's gone really defensive here. Nice. Love that. Love that. I mean, I'd love it even more if I got some uh, creature spells in my in my creature deck, but. Uh, what have you got? Have you got a. Have you got another land? Okay. What is it that they're holding up? It is a mana type. Nice. I mean, sure. Sure. I mean, I would have liked that to have landed. Luminar Chasprint there. Buffs the Sentinel. Attacks in. Sentinel seems good. Do I want to pay the two? Uh, the answer is always going to be no. The answer is always going to be no. Um, uh, red. Play this him. Up down to 14. We're going to be trading blows here. Okay. I see how it is. Mono White has got a little bit more defense than, than, than we have. We're at a stage where if we don't win by turn four, turn five, I think that they, I think we're just too weak, you know, if, if I'm being honest. Uh, Lava Coil there is great. Uh, we're going to fire this in on... I think we we'll fire it in on the Sentinel. We're going to auto-pay here. I don't want my opponent drawing a card off me. Not at all. Uh, we're going to risk taking the four damage next turn to get the um, to get the sliver down. Remember, Oppo's only on two mana, three mana. Another Inspector. They've got enough mana now to draw a card, should they want to. They're going to put a counter on this Inspector, hit him for four. And we're in trouble. We might have to give up this uh, sliver here. We need a Coke off the top. Okay. This comes into hand. We're going to play this down tapped. Uh, we're going to hold this back. Okay, the upper gets to draw a card. Uh, maybe it should have been um, putting that... Uh, maybe it should have been hitting the uh, Lava Coil. I mean, we, we can't play around this, can we? We can't play around this. Good job I didn't attack then. We're going to take six. Pass to our opponent. Spiteful. Uh, play this in. And no attacks. Oppo says GG's because it is GG's needs. GG's Oppo. Put a counter on the uh, lieutenant. I mean, it doesn't really matter where they put the counter. It's good anyway. It's good for them anyway. We take four. GG's Oppo. And Slivers. <laughs> Collector Company. Have you got any more of the uh, Thalia's lieutenants to buff everything up? You have a Benlish Marshal. That'll do. That'll do. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Well done, Oppo. GG's. And there you have it, everybody. One win out of four, I think. Uh, very disappointing for me. I think um, uh, the deck itself is definitely not tier one. It might not even be tier two. I think what you need is that perfect one, two, three, four drops. And if you don't have that, if you don't get a little bit of luck with your opponent pulling back on mana, um, you are going to get overridden. In a format full of mono white, mono green, it's going to be a tough ask to take it to the long game. Even in the game against the, uh, was it a Rakdos deck, I think it was, where our opponents were, sh uh, were short on mana for the first three or four turns, they still came back and beat us, even though we played out every single card Hard that we could so a disappointing day all around but at least i've been able to get some video footage for you guys in case it's a deck that you're interested in playing at all let me know if there's any different builds in the comments that i could try with this deck maybe i haven't got the optimum build it's only day one of the format so guys before i leave you make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the youtube channel and catch me on twitch.tv five days a week on the link down below i'm loving seeing my friends from youtube make the transition over to twitch great to catch up with you and speak in person so have an excellent one, guys, and I will see you in the next video.